on a field trip. Dominic Frazioli tells us why the school didn't do a background check. Carla Hamolka is one of Canada's most notorious criminals. Along with her then-husband, Paul Bernardo, she played a role in the sex killings of two schoolgirls and her 15-year-old sister. Since her release from prison, parents have opposed her presence outside schools, including her children's schools. Last year, there was a backlash in Shattergate, and now she's facing resistance in Montreal's NDG district. Uh, can I talk to you for a second? No, you can't. Since September, Hamolka has been a regular fixture at Greaves Adventist Academy, a private Christian school. We don't want her there. We don't want her in the school. Lily is a concerned parent at the NDG school. She doesn't want her face shown. She says Hamolka does more than just drop off and pick up her kids. She claims Hamolka occasionally volunteers at the school. Several sources connected with the school say that on March 22nd, Hamolka helped supervise a group of kindergarten students during a field trip to the Montreal Science Center. How would you feel knowing that your child is interacting with a, with a person who's a serial killer? It's not right. Those same sources say Hamolka has even been inside the school from time to time. She's even brought her dog into the classroom for children to pet. She's not supposed to be there. Why is she allowed to be in the school? Lily says many parents have spoken to the school principal, but nothing has changed. We spoke with Hamolka last week. Carla, can I ask you a question? Do you volunteer or work at the school? Who are you? You know who I am. By law, before anyone can have regular contact with children in Quebec schools, they are required to undergo a criminal background check. Our questions to the school about if this protocol was followed were not answered.